So let's talk. Well, actually, we wanted, I, I wanted to have a guest lecturer today of uh, Doug because we were riding around in his car one day listening to Stevie Wonder doing this song, and he had some comments I thought that were quite relevant. Do you have it, yeah, Superstition? I, I think it's queued up, queued up here. Now, now, your premise was very interesting, and all we have to do is turn it kind of loud. It'll get into our mics. Well, should we talk over this? Yeah, I think or, so. Okay. Yeah. Let's talk over. But, what, but the premise before you even started was <coughs> that you as Stevie Wonder should play the drums okay. more often. Not now, not as a knock on Stevie. Now mm -hmm. he's a wonderful talent, and he still writes great songs, and his records are still great. But when he plays the drums, something magic happens on his records that isn't happening now that he's using computer drums. Mm -hmm. And this no. is my, my idea. He's an amazing drummer, and you wouldn't think of Stevie Wonder as a drummer, uh -huh. but as you'll hear. What you pointed out to me in the car, if they can hear this, was was that the drumming was not the kind of drumming a drummer would do. Right. It doesn't sound like, and actually I saw Stevie play this on the drums at the Whiskey in 1972 or 3, and he looked like he was falling off the drums all the time, and he actually sounds like he's falling off the drums, but it's brilliant. It like works for for the feel of the song, and it's, there are other drummers who are remarkable in that same way, they're not, they don't sound like drummers, they don't sound like your typical, you know, good musician drummer, but what they do is so integral to the feel of the song that it's, it's better than great. Now see, I, I was really amazed by this because it was a musician's point of view, I'm not a musician. I don't know what a drummer, you said that no drummer who calls himself a drummer would approach a song like this, right? Probably not. I mean, I'm not a drummer, but, you know, I've made music for long enough and I know enough musicians, especially drummers, who would say, you know, oh, it's clumsy. Oh, no, you, know, you want to clean it up. You want to play it good, you know, and... My contention about hit songs is, general, and especially hit rock songs, is generally the, the stupider and the simpler, and, the simpler and in some ways the more clumsy, the more endearing and the better. And like when I say stupid, I don't mean that in a pejorative sense. Right. I mean that in, in, in the best sense, in a way that, that insinuates itself into your subconscious rather than into your conscious mind. Because mm -hmm. if a musician will lis listen to it, they'll go, ah, well, he's, cl he's playing clumsily. Uh -huh. He's not, you'd never tell a drummer this, yeah. ever. Yeah. I mean, you do not encourage drummers. <laughs> this, is, this is something we don't ever do. But <laughs> all hit records, all hit records start with the drums and end with the drums. It's the drums and the vocal, yeah. ultimately. Well, that's what music is, isn't it? After all, I mean, it began with drumming, didn't it? And uh, it's actually ended with it, really. Because I'm not, not to put down rap, I actually like, I like rap, and it is, basic, it is absolutely basic music. Yeah, right. Because it's the drum and a voice. Right. And that's what music's about. And in rock and roll, it's very important. And you're right about these bloody drum machines. I must admit, I u use them at times on, I shouldn't there say, are some, some of my new recordings. That are, there are some records that are well served by that, but generally, for me, I would rather hear a human being, and I would also rather hear a drummer who is not particularly a drummer, mm -hmm. somebody who is doing something different. Now, there are some amazing drummers who are in that same sort of league. We were talking about John Bonham. John oh. Bonham is perhaps the greatest drummer of, the ro of that rock era. If you listen to what he plays, it sounds like he's you know, playing... He's some supersonic human, you know, playing things that no human being could possibly play. But if you watch him play those very same things, it looks very pedestrian and mediocre because he, very in a re very relaxed way, would just sit there, and it was all from his wrists. Ian, do you know we're talking about Led Zeppelin? Oh, you know, I used to. Uh, some of those guys <laughs> played with me yeah. on oh, my okay, records. Session guys, right? Yeah. He was yeah. a session guy. Too. Yeah. Well, I mean, Mitch Mitchell played with oh, me. Oh yeah, he, he's, he, he's, he's, he's another great one. drummer. It's basically jazz-oriented drummer, but not you know playing sort of that straight rock thing, and yet, you know, what he played with Jimmy, he was the perfect drummer for Jimmy. But he was a British drummer. I yeah. believe there's such a thing as British drumming, and I used, when I, you, you used to tour in the 60s with um, American groups, both black and white, they, they talked to me about British drumming. It was more precise. It was more, it came out of the British military band. It was much more 
sort of tight and, and anxiety conscious. I mean, when I came to <laughs> L.A. <laughs> Dave Clark. <laughs> well, Dave Clark was just that. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, when I played on Shindig, we had a great drummer there who subsequently recorded with me, M Mickey Conway from New Orleans, and he used to do all that New Orleans marching band stuff, but when he would do a press roll, it was a laid back, <laughs> and it was kind of laid back. Now, I remember, I'm gonna stop soon, but I just, you got him onto a very interesting <laughs> thing. As a kid in England, I remember being incredibly impressed by seeing American bands, military bands, when I was growing up, that came to Britain uh, uh, after World, during World War II. I'm that well, we old. occupied England. We occupied England. I just wrote a review in the Times about that. <laughs> the point is that these bands, I always remember, can I demonstrate this? Yeah. Um, sure. These bands, I remember being knocked out by them because British military bands, can I stand up? Are you going to stand up? I'd like the British military bands would go, dum dum, da 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 dum dum, dum dum, dum dum, dum And the American band came in playing St. Louis Blues, da 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 da, and the, the soldiers, <laughs> da 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 da, 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 da. And I thought, God, they're behind the beat. <laughs> they don't like. It looks like they haven't trained, and yet it was it was it was wonderful. It was so catchy. It was so relaxed, and it was laid back. It's very similar. It was the to back beat, I guess. To the they effect. It. It's very wow. similar to the effect that we're talking about. Well, that won me to this country because I'd been told at school, just keep in time, march. But these guys didn't. They were keeping their own time, yeah. and uh, it was American time. Yeah. And it was yeah. wonderful. Yeah. It was laid back. There you are. Well, we're certainly anyway. off on a drumming kick, which of course well, I started I with drumming. this, which is not bad. Now, what is the, uh, since I'm not a drum expert, the, the, my favorite, mm -hmm. I have one drum solo, and uh, you probably don't know it. It's Woohoo by the Rocketeers. Oh, I love it. Drums, sounds wonderful. drums that I, I don't know from drums except that I've always liked them. Now, yeah. wh what is the verdict on Ringo Starr after Amazing. all the all the Amazing it's all past? Drummer. Because I remember Amazing at the time drummer. not knowing myself, no. hearing other people snidely say, "Well, he's just this or just that." Only because he, you know, he was the first star of the Beatles. He had yeah. the funny name. He had the big nose. He wore the rings. He said clever things. But if you if you're a musician and you talk to other drummers mm -hmm. or other musicians, he's He's the cat. He's one of the three or four great the rock night. drummers. Well, he kept a solid beat. Do you know an odd thing about drummers? I don't know whether you agree with this, Doug, but I, I have all kinds <coughs> of live bands. It's very hard to find a drummer who will keep the right beat. Many of them have no idea of the beat. They, I mean, they'll do all these complicated yes. licks and tricks, yeah. but they can, very few can keep a solid beat and Ringo could beat, uh, can keep a solid beat. Simplicity is always the thing, whether it's writing, whether it's music, whatever you do, yeah. simplicity. 